my name is Alex and this is my first ever YouTube video. So if I'm awkward, I'm sorry. I'm always awkward, so um so I'm here today to talk about LGBTQ stuff. Um I realize there is not a lot of very accessible information so people who are generally curious about LGBTQ stuff and might not have access to any LGBTQ friends or any LGBTQ resources or anything like that. So I thought I'd make this series of beginner videos to educate the general public about LGBTQ stuff. Um, you can feel free to ask me questions and comments, anything like that. I'm an open book, um, willing to answer literally almost anything, and if I don't have the answer, I know someone who does because I'm heavily involved in the LGBTQ community. So I wanted to start off talking about LGBTQ. What exactly does it mean? Um, people often think that it just means you're gay, and that's not exactly true. LGBTQ is a shortening of a much longer acronym that nobody really knows the entire thing because it's basically the entire alphabet. But LGBTQ is the most common and it stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, or queer. And it is meant to encompass the entire community of gender and sexuality minorities. What does that mean? Basically, it means you're not straight and or you're not specifically male or specifically female, both biologically and in the other senses. Now, this might seem very difficult to understand, but, and it is, and I see a lot of people who are straight, who have grown up with straight people, who are straight friends that have a very hard time grasping that there are so many other identities out there. Let's go with that. Let's go with identities. And think of it this way. If you li have lived in America your entire life, like I have, then all you do on a daily basis is speak English. Right? Yeah, that's, that's all you do. Um, but you know that in France they speak French, and in Germany they speak German. There's my awkwardness. In Germany they speak German. In Spain they speak, speak Spanish. The, the list goes on and on. There are infinite number of languages that can be cited here. And although English might be the only thing that you've ever known, there are other languages, and in the same way, although straight is the only thing you've ever known, there are infinite numbers of other ways that people feel and express themselves. So, um, LGBTQ is any combination of letters attempting to represent all the identities in the queer community. A near exhaustive one, but not totally, is LGBTQQIAA+. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? I call it the gay alphabet, but LGBT... <sighs> LGBTQQIAA+, technically stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, pansexual, transgender, transsexual, queer, questioning, intersex, intergender, asexual, ally, and then plus is supposed to encompass everything that was left out of that. If you can believe it, there are hundreds of things that were left out of that alone. Um, so if you just say LGBTQ, it's implied that you mean anyone who isn't straight and isn't specifically male or specifically female. Um, 
Oh, look at that. I changed camera angles because I'm editing this video a lot, as it turns out, and I found out that I'm going to cut it much shorter than it originally was. Um, I originally meant to talk about a lot more in this video, but I think I will save that for other videos. Um, so that's it. That's what LGBTQ stands for. Um, next time, we're going to be talking about male and female and the ideas of gender. And that'll be exciting and challenging, but I'm looking forward to it. And I'll be wearing the same thing because I'm editing it from the previous video. So that'll be fun. This is great. It's all great. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I check this fairly often, I guess. And like I said, I'm an open book. So I have no problem answering anything that you want to ask. Until then, all you really need to know is that I'm Alex, and I'm in the LGBTQ community, but I'm going to talk about my identity and my gender and all that later once we've covered the basics. I don't want to overwhelm you with too much information, so if you're ready, you can continue on to the next video, but I know a lot of times people have to take time to wrap their minds around some of the more challenging concepts that come along with LGBTQ stuff. So feel free to take as long as you need to process, ask as many questions as you want. There's no such thing as a stupid question. I'm open to anything. The definition I used for LGBTQ comes from a very helpful website that is called, it's pronounced metrosexual.com. It has a lot of just basic information about LGBTQ stuff. I'm going to include their link in the, what's it called? Oh, in the description down here. Um, so if you just click on that, it's great. Um, but Google, I mean, if you have any questions, it's been asked by someone before, I guarantee it. And if you just use very specific language, I'm sure you can find it answered somewhere. So um, I'm going to go before I touch my hair more and say more silly things. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it was helpful and taught you things that you didn't know before or needed clarification on. Um. I'm going to go into what all the sexualities mean soon, I promise. Um, not the next video, because the next video is about gender, but maybe the one after that, because it's a very important topic to talk about. So, until then, bye.